people to know that I have two children and that um, Noah is never far from my thoughts. Oh, <laughs> to lose their adorable, strong-willed Noah at four years old, a twin to Ella. Very happy, smiley little boy, little boy. It's a bit cliche, but he just, yeah, he just woke up every day and just wanted to have fun. Kat and Nick Wright describe what it's like waking up in the morning every day now. It's just relentless. It's every day you think about it, and every day you hope that no one else will go through it. In Tesco's, and then you go past the yogurts, and then you notice the one that he loved the most. Cat first saw something was wrong with his walk and balance when Noah was tiny, only two. Wasn't it? And then it was the age of three that we were thinking he's still asking for a hand for balance when he wants to walk sometimes. That's when they sent him for an MRI scan. It was 2019. The MRI found little Noah had a brain tumor, a deadly one. You don't want to wish that on anyone. Almost all children who get this diagnosis for this brain tumor, DIPG or DMG, diffuse midline glioma, have around nine to 12 months to live. At the time they got this diagnosis for Noah, there was no treatment, no cure. You just want for other parents to have the options, for other parents in a situation like us to be given something, a bit of hope. Things are changing, and the Chris Cancer Foundation is one of those charities leading the way to create this momentum. It's not going to change things for Kat and Nick and Ella, but after many years of research, the first clinical trials here in the UK and in Europe are starting to show some promising results. How are you going? Collaborating is everything for Dr. Karen Strathoff. While in the lab at London's Great Ormond Street Hospital, She's been teaming with Stanford University. Every day is exciting. The big news is that we received funding uh, to be able to open a clinical trial uh, of immunotherapy for children with DMG. DMG, it's a brain tumor that grows in children. At the moment, receiving a diagnosis of DMG, a deadly glioma, it's just devastating for the child and as you can imagine, the parents. There is no cure. They're in the hospital, and we, it, it is in the first two-week period that you can start to see some of these effects. Very challenging to get the funding, and it's been amazing for different charities, including Chris Cancer, to come together and, and bring the funding that we need for an early phase trial. Without the funding from people bringing it together, then, then nothing's going to change.